in this video we're going to look at different overlay options that we've got in Wikitude. And we're using what most people would probably think of when they think of augmented reality, which is that there is an image in the real world. We point our device at that image. The software running on the device detects it. And then we can overlay some sort of virtual content on top of it. And if everything works the way it's supposed to do, even if the perspective of the device moves, the content remains aligned. So I'm going to set up the files on a web server. You can check back to previous videos that I've done on how to set up the environment that you're going to use. In this case, we go into the public HTML folder and we're going to create a new directory just to keep everything nicely contained. So the first thing that we need when we go in that folder is to upload a file that will help us describe the target images that we want Wikitude to look for. And those are contained within this magazine.wtc file. So it's just using one of the samples available from Wikitude and the assets, this WTC file. And I'll cover in a future video how to create your own versions of that. So we're going to upload that. There it is, and now we're going to create a new file. So the description of your augmented reality is contained within a HTML file. So that's what we're going to create here. So we'll put in our tags for HTML. We can set a doc type as well, but it isn't really necessary in this example. So we're going to define the head area. And in here, we're going to define a script. And this is the script that tells the page to load the Wikitude JavaScript library that we need. This is always the same for every example that you create. So you can just copy it exactly as it is. Now we're going to create the body section. We're actually going to leave it empty. So in all of these examples, it's not best practice, not the most robust way of doing things, but it's the quickest and easiest way of getting set up. So at the end we're defining the script section, and in here is where we're going to actually define our augmented reality. So the first thing we need is a tracker, what's going to look for those target images. And we always use this AR namespace that's created by Wikitude when we load in the JavaScript library. So it's AR dot client tracker, and then we load in that WTC file. Okay, so that's target image. Next is to define the virtual content that we want to put over the top of it. And in this case, we'll start off just with a simple circle that we can create. And we'll just set a radius. This is in a sort of its own unit format, which I'll, I'll cover at some later date. And the final thing we need to do is to tie those two together. So we're going to create a ar.trackable 2D object. And we're going to pack in, uh, pass in the tracker and then a name of a file that's within that tracker because the WTC file can contain multiple target images. And then we define what's going to be drawn over the top when it identifies one of those images. So we just say the drawables are on the camera, the circle, it's the variable name that we just created above. Okay, just close everything off. And that is it. So we save that and run it on a device. Then we see when it detects the target image, it displays a circle over the top. Okay, so not particularly exciting. Let's try and do something a bit more interesting. And the standard thing that people would expect to see is an image overlaid on top of that target image. So let's do that. So we'll just load the image again. It's from the sample, but this could actually be any image that you want. 
there it is so let's go and edit that so ideally you'd want to be using a, a development or environment or something but it is simple enough that we can just do it directly on the server we just comment out that line we don't want to delete it in case we want to use it later and for the image there's actually two steps the first is to create an image resource which loads in that file we do that just like this just pass in the file name they're all in the same directory so we don't need paths and the next thing we need to do is to define the actual overlay using that image so ar dot image drawable we pass in the image resource and the scale factor so for now just consider one to be a hundred percent the height of the target image we just change the variable that's going to be loaded then we go to overlay one and save that so there we go that's the classic augmented reality the target image with a another image drawn over the top to virtual content okay so we can actually quickly change it and do something slightly more interesting so if we go back and look in the sample folders we go down and we'll find a 3d model so this is a wt3 file which is wikitude's own format again i can show you that at a later date Okay, but for now we'll just use this one that's already been created go back to edit the html file comment out these two lines and to begin with we can actually just load in the model with a, a single line that is the model it's a new AR model and then just pass in the file name we again change the variable that it's going to look for and save that okay so if we hold the, hold the device up all right things look a bit strange to begin with looks like something's gone wrong but if we tilt off to the edge we can see a bit of the side window and if we tilt it down to try and look at the front we can see a bit of windscreen and steering wheel okay so it's loading in the 3d model but the scale is wrong so we need to find out how to fix that so if we go through the wikitude documentation so we've gone to the android section but what we're really looking for is the javascript api so we follow that link and we're looking for the model class and there it is and if we scroll down again we can see it's got a second parameter that it can take which contains options and here we have quite a few options that we can choose from rotation translation and so on but it's these scale values that we're going to set so let me show you how to put that into our file so it's the second parameter And it's defined as a JavaScript object, at least in that style. So we define the scale, then a colon, and open the curly brackets, and then set each of the parameters within that. So x and the value that was used in the example. So that's a good one. No. And let's put a semicolon there so it's a comma between each of the values because they're a list and then finally z and we don't need a, val a comma after this one because it's the last value okay so let's save that hold it up it takes a while to load because it's a larger 3d model but when it does you'll see there we are, a nicely scaled 3D model. 